quit instruments, i.e. playing in through the keyboard. So again, if we select our Logic Pro X, click File, go to Open Recent, and click Getting Started. Um, this is where the last uh, part of the video 2 ended up. Uh, could we Just before we start on this, could you please drag the uh, two loops to the end of bar 16 instead of it being uh, at the beginning of bar 16? There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, software instruments. We're going to add two, some bass and a little bit of guitar to this track. In the um, track area, just above the track listing here, there's a plus sign. It says new tracks. Click that. Uh, make sure software instrument is selected. And where it says number of tracks, if you could type in two and create. Now, you might find that the um, two tracks are in between the two drum packs that we laid down. So if you could click and drag those two down underneath, then that will shift those up. Okay, on the left-hand side, you will now see that there's a library area. And this is the um, selection of instruments, the software instruments we can use. The bass, kit, guitar, etc. down the left-hand side here are um, the sort of new standard sounds that have come into Logic Pro X. If you look at the bottom of the list here, we have the legacy sounds. This is the sounds that have um, kind of belong to the old um, setup as well, which are perfectly good sounds. We have the Logic Garaband, we have the uh, Jam Pack um, things as well. So this is just to, just to let you know that they're there. First thing we're going to do is put a, a bass line down. So um, click bass, and making sure that the instrument 2 is selected in the um, track list here and click Liverpool Bass. Okay, like the bass to come in at uh, bar 5, so just to open up the tracks area, go to the top left-hand corner, the very top left-hand icon that says Library. If we click on that, this opens up the project area. Okay, I'm going to start recording at bar 5. So the cycle, with the yellow cycle but, uh, area at the top, if we click and drag that to the right so that we start I'm going to start recording our bass sound on bar 5. Check your bass sound is loaded. It is. Okay. And um, just to click the record button, you'll get your four clicks into record. I'm just going to play um, the bass line using the notes A, G, F, and E for each bar of the uh, four bar pattern. Um, you'll, you, you'll hear the pattern. Okay, now that's stopped recording. You can press the space bar to uh, finish the recording. The quantize function is over on the left-hand side here in the um, track information area. At the moment, the quantize reads off. Just by clicking this area, um, you can quantize it. So we're going to select eighth note. Then you'll notice that that will quantize your bass pattern. You can play it back. And notice that it's um, bang in time, which is always a good thing. Okay, we're going to load up uh, another instrument now. So the top left-hand side, if we click the library again, select the last track in our tracks area column. And this time we're going to select the guitar sound. So in the uh, library area, if we click guitar, then select acoustic guitar, this will load up the acoustic guitar. We have there. Okay, I'm going to click the, click the library button again in the top left hand corner to open up the air so we have a bit more space to work in. And this time um, I'm going to bring the guitar in at bar 9. Okay, to record a four bar cycle there. Just to keep the bass going, I'm going to click the bass and loop that to the end of bar 16. I'm going to press record now and just play a simple pattern using A minor, G, F, and E, um, just descending down. Here we go. OK, 
Okay, press stop to stop the recording and uh, go back to the left hand side track information area, click on quantize and select the eighth note for this again. That will put it into perfect time. Okay, now you notice that the start of this track came in a little bit early because of my inaccurate playing, so I can click and drag that just to tidy it up to make it look good. Okay, I'm just going to put a single bass note A now just to finish off the piece. You can do this by um, clicking the cycle button away at the top in the middle, and I just want to record from bar 17, so I can click and drag in bar 17 just to highlight that one bar. Ensuring that my, my bass track is selected, I'm just going to have a count of four and just play a note A to finish the piece. Here it is. Okay, stop my recording, and even with the inaccuracies of my playing there, I'm sure that needs to be quantized to an eighth note again. So if you can go back and re-quantize that again, just to tidy up the uh, the look here, because I started it the note a bit early, click and drag that there, and we um, should have a nice A on beat one to finish up. Click the cycle button at bar 17 so that we don't uh, keep hearing that, and just check the ending works. Okay, and finally, click the acoustic guitar track and just drag that to the end of bar 16 so that we have a small little piece all finished up. Okay, thank you.